Over the last few years, Adobe has been steadily raising the prices of their creative software. And with a recent price increase to their Creative Cloud Suite that will now set you back around $720, upwards to $1,080 per year if you pay monthly, or $660 if you prepay annually. So coming up with people looking for alternatives, I'll share with you the best free alternatives to Adobe's 10 most popular programs, including Photoshop, After Effects, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, and many others. Let's get started. For creating visual effects and motion graphics, Adobe After Effects is a popular tool for many people. It's used in the post-production of TV shows, movies, and video games. While no free alternative to After Effects is identical with its feature set, a lot of people do prefer using the free and open source, all-in-one production suite, Blender, for creating realistic animated graphics and 3D visual effects. It does have a ton of features that are used for creating motion graphics, it has a compositor, and built in is an easy to use video editor. I do want to emphasize that this program is so powerful and feature rich that if it were owned by Adobe, they'd probably charge $20 to $30 per month to use it. Blender is available for all three of the major platforms, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Adobe Animate is a program for creating 2D animations and interactive graphics for a variety of media, including apps, TV, the web, games, cartoons, and a whole lot more. Available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, the free and open source Synfig Studio is the best replacement for Animate. It provides tools to help you create high quality animations using less resources. Many users find that the manual vector tweening to be a time saver, eliminating the hassle of having to draw each and every frame. Synfig Studio, like many programs in this video, depends on the donations of users. A donation is not required to use it. If you're short on money at this time, after selecting your OS, where it says name a fair price, just enter zero in the field prior to downloading. Adobe Illustrator is a popular vector graphics program that allows users to create logos, illustrations, icons, and other artwork. When scaled up or down, a vector graphic will never lose its quality. The best free alternative to Illustrator for creating vector graphics is the open source Inkscape. It includes tons of tools to help you with object creation and manipulation, its SVG file format is 100% compliant, making Inkscape an excellent substitute to Illustrator for file generation and editing. If you've used Illustrator in the past, you should be able to figure out Inkscape pretty easily. If you need help using it, they have various tutorials on their site. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Adobe InDesign is a desktop publishing and page layout program that allows users to create and publish print and digital media. It's used to create a variety of projects, including books, magazines, flyers, business cards, and a whole lot more. The best free alternative to InDesign is Scribus. Available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, it offers a very similar layout of grids, frames, and layers, making it easier to switch from InDesign to Scribus. It has all the tools you would ever need, including color profiles, font management, and supports vector drawing tools. Adobe Lightroom is a photo editing and organizing program popular with photographers that allows users to create, edit, store, and share photos. For this one, I have two free alternatives for you to check out. The first of which is Darktable. Photographers like it because it offers a clean looking user interface. It offers non-destructive editing of your images, so the original is never modified in case you mess up. And it supports a large variety of formats, including raw files. Darktable is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. The other Lightroom alternative that some people prefer is Raw Therapy. It also allows for editing of raw photo files and supports most other formats. While not having a great looking UI, it does offer non-destructive editing and batch processing of your images. Just like Darktable, Raw Therapy is available for all three of the major platforms. One of the most well-known of the Adobe programs is Photoshop. This raster graphics image editing program allows users to create, enhance, and edit images and artwork. While there are many free alternatives to Photoshop, 
GIMP is the absolute best. When not testing other programs, GIMP is the raster graphics editor I use the most. It's feature packed. It allows you to work with layers and includes numerous drawing tools, tons of filters and effects, and a whole lot more. In addition to having support for Photoshop's PSD file format, it also supports most of the other popular file formats as well. GIMP is not the most intuitive image editor, so if you need help, we've created beginner's videos on our channel that you can check out. And on GIMP's site, they have tutorials to help you get more familiar with it. GIMP is available to install on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Adobe Express is a beginner-friendly web and mobile app that helps users create simple images, videos, social posts, and other stuff. While it does offer some features for free, it's extremely limiting. If you want more useful features for free, Canva, with both free and paid plans, is a good alternative to Express. It's web-based, so it can be used in any web browser. To help in the design process, thousands of free templates are available in various categories. They have a free online photo editor. It's quite basic, but does include effects, filters, and numerous tools to enhance your image. They also have a free online video editor for simple edits of your videos. Canva's free plan is quite generous, offering tons of features. If you ever need to upgrade, their pro plan is reasonable at $15 per month, but for most casual users, the free plan will be all that they need. Adobe Audition is a digital audio workstation that allows users to record, edit, mix, and restore audio files. While it's commonly used to record and mix audio for video post-production, it's also used quite a bit in podcasting. Audacity is the best free alternative to Audition. It's one of those good examples of the free and open software actually being better than the paid program. It has just about every feature you would ever need, including a large variety of plugins to enhance the functionality, supports just about every audio file format, and can be customized how you want it. There's even a dark theme to help reduce eye strain. Audacity is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Another well-known and popular program from Adobe is Premiere Pro. This timeline-based video editor is used to create videos for film, TV, and the web. Since we do a free video editing software video each year, we'll keep this segment brief. If you're a casual user, needing something easy to use, Shotcut is what we recommend. While this free and open source program does not have all the bells and whistles of paid programs, it does offer all of its features for free, not locked behind a paywall. Shotcut is available for all three of the major platforms. Offering the most professional quality features for free, DaVinci Resolve is a great alternative to Premiere Pro. It's used quite a bit by those that edit movies and TV shows. For free, DaVinci Resolve will be enough for most people. For those that require multi-user collaboration, exports of their projects above 4K and other advanced features, DaVinci Resolve Studio will set you back around $300 for a one-time purchase. Both versions are available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It's also available for the newer Windows ARM computers. Adobe Acrobat is a collection of tools that allows users to create, edit, and manage portable document format files, also known as PDF files. For this one, sadly, there is no free legal alternative with all of the features of Acrobat, but I'll show you one here with features that might be useful for some of you. To create and edit PDFs legally for free, the best we've used is PDF Escape Online. It also lets you annotate and fill out PDF forms. Because this one is online only, be careful not to enter sensitive information like social security numbers and other stuff you would not want others to see. They also have a downloadable program for Windows only. This one's not free, it's around $3 per month to use and includes additional features. Thanks for watching. Links to the alternatives mentioned are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What free programs do you use that you think are great alternatives to Adobe software? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest top 10s and other tech-related stuff.